Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you guys how I got this super defined curly big high poof on short hair. So I'm starting with my dry three day old wash and go. Um, the first thing I need to do is get some hydration on this thing. So I'm going to go ahead and add water first and then virgin olive oil. And these are the gels that I'm going to use. The new, well it's not new, but it's softy. I'm not going to use this anymore because it does have back chemicals in it. So the Argan Oil by Softy is really, really bomb. I'm just letting you know ahead of time. It reminds me of the Eco Styler Gel Argan Oil, except for it doesn't have the harsh chemicals in it. The chemicals, I've explained them in a separate video, so you can check that video out. I'll probably link it in a card up above this video in the corner. But yeah, those products are just safer to use for everyday use. And I'm just um, trying to detangle a little bit, just add moisture and gel so that I could go ahead and sleek up this high poof. And I know that you guys may not like clear gels because normally they do flake, but that's why I use the, um, the oil first on my hair. I kind of skipped that part, but I use extra olive virgin oil or you can use coconut oil. But I know that when it's cold, coconut oil kind of like it's hard so I just rather use olive oil now I'm using a Denman brush to just kind of um, pull up the hair I'm not going like fully because I don't want to like break off my hair but I'm just kind of going through the motions of it just to get it up to a high pineapple and I'm also going to use a I, I call it a boy bristle brush, a boy brush, because the guys use it for their waves, but I always use that to sleek up my edges in the back and the front. This is a bomb brush, like, you need it in your life to get those edges straight. And unless my hair was, like, super wet, then I would use the dimming brush in its full capacity, but it still kind of dried the top, so I didn't, you know, go hard on it. Now I'm using a um, headband and I'm just going to stretch it twice or um, twist it around one time to kind of secure everything. And then you'll see me put bobby pins or either hair pins to kind of keep it in place. There's another way that you can do this. You can actually use like a stocking uh, pantyhose and you can just tie them around. But I prefer this method because it stays in place all day and it keeps my edges tight versus um, cutting it in half and then tying a knot in it. to sleek my edges again just to make sure that they lay down flat once I tie my scarf down. I'm also going to use two of my favorite um, edge brushes I guess you could say. One is like a dual edge brush and a comb and then the other is just an edge brush. So I'm just you know getting them together. And the key to laid edges is just literally using a, you can use any kind of bristle you can use a, a thin comb just sliding them in place and then tying a scarf down I promise that's what makes the sleekest edges for the curliest kinkiest types of hair and then I tie it tight for about 30 minutes and um, just go ahead and get to the high puff Now 
now this is how I define my curls. This is how I do wash and goes too sometimes. But the key to it is just applying water and gel. Like you don't need any more products. You could use, um, what is it called? Curl Enhancing Smoothie. But I didn't want any like product left over my hair. I didn't want any, um, what do you call that? I can't remember, but it's like um, when there's too much product in your hair, residue. So I just use my dimming brush and I brush out some of the curls and then I go ahead and shingle. Sometimes it takes a long time, but what I do like to do now to save time is just clump them together and allow them to form like that. And then later on after they dry, then I separate them because at that point they'll already be crisp and defined. And I was really shocked at how well this gel from Dollar Tree like lasted. It did not flake up. It's really bomb and it smells good too. Now I'm just basically kind of pulling it out a little bit more, poofing it up some more and making sure that the top part is like really defined because I really don't care about the bottom. <laughs> I honestly don't because nobody's going to see that. And that's basically it for the curl defining part. Making sure that I get some pieces that stick out on the side and then I just let it dry. So literally 30 minutes later, I can take it off and look how sleek my edges are, y'all. Forget the high poof. Look at these edges. Like laid. They are laid. And the high poof is really nice and fluffy and defined. It's not like, it does have like a crunch to it, but it's not like a ratchet crunch. You know, there's no like flakes falling out. It's just really cute, really simple, easy hairstyle to do for school or work or wherever you go. To church. I need to bed whatever now. So yeah, I'm just really shocked to see how big it still is after cutting my hair a few weeks ago or last month. So yeah, if you want to tease it out more, of course it can get bigger, but I just want to keep the definition and these edges. Oh. So that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Check out my previous natural tutorials and my previous new videos I've uploaded. And please give this video a big thumbs up.